sweat the technique. Hey guys, uh, back with another video today, and this one is going to be doing a review on some of the newer applications that I've downloaded, both free and paid. So let's get this one started. Slide to unlock. Okay, so the first application that I've downloaded recently would be Space Monkey. And uh, when I downloaded it, it said it was a free download for a limited time only, so I don't know if they have actually upped the prices at all, or if they even started charging for it. It might still be a free download. But anyway, I got it for free from the App Store. So uh, let me show you how to do this one. Go to the main menu, and pretty much what you are is you are a monkey in space, collecting like trash and recycling uh, with your hands and your feet. It's pretty weird, pretty random, but it is pretty fun gameplay, so I would definitely recommend downloading it if it's still free. Uh, if the price is still up, you might want to, I don't know, see if there's a better review of it on a... Uh, on YouTube or anything like that. If not, if it's not free anymore, I can do another re uh, review if you guys like me to. Anyway, we're going to skip through this. Okay, so here we are. What you do is you're a monkey just in the middle of space, and all you have to do is you just turn your body and you catch incoming trash and recycling objects that fly towards you. So we got an object coming right here at me, so I just turn my foot. Caught it. You guys could see right there. Got one coming at me from the top but my hand should already be lined up with it, so if you watch it, I'll catch it in a second. Huzzah! Nah, we got one coming up from your right top corner. Should catch it. Anyway, uh, it gets pretty challenging when you get a lot of objects coming at you at once. But anyway, that is Space Monkey. I uh, got it for a free download from the App Store. Next one, I love it. It's called Moto Chaser. Uh, it was originally called Moto Racer, and it was originally a $10 download from the App Store. Uh, I bought it yesterday actually as a two dollar download they re-released it as moto chaser for a two dollar download they uh, completely lowered the price a crap load and then i checked this morning about the price and they've actually made it a dollar now so i don't know if they're going to eventually make it free i highly doubt it because it is a pretty big game but uh, i would definitely recommend downloading it really fun really good gameplay but anyway uh, let me just show you a quick level on it so you have three different racers to choose from you got about ten different levels and uh... It's really fun, actually. It's really fast-paced gameplay. You have a little button in the left bottom corner that says gas, and you just tap that to do the gas. And then you use the accelerometer to steer and everything. But uh, as you guys can see, it's ridiculously fast gameplay. Um, sometimes there's actually another biker that will come up next to you, like on the right or the left. And when a biker comes up next to you, a button in the right bottom corner will come up and appear, and when you tap that, you will actually punch the biker off of his bike, and you will gain points. And then also sometimes, like right there, it was a really small jump, but sometimes there's actually pretty big jumps, and it'll go into slow motion and give you some pretty cool angles and everything, so the game can be pretty fun. Uh, for a $2, or now I guess it's a $1 download from the App Store, I would definitely recommend downloading it. It's a great game. Give you a couple hours of enjoyment, and then once you beat the game, you'll still be able to race and have some fun with it. So, yeah, that's Moto Chaser. Next one. It's going to be... Uh, stop it. And uh, this is just a stopwatch. If you guys ever play this game, we try and stop the clock on an exact second. So uh, this one, it tries to get you to stop it on five seconds. So what you can do is you can just tap it to start, and you can tap it to stop it. So one, two, three, four, five. God, that's the closest I've ever been. 5.01. I've never got five seconds. Uh, pretty cool. I got it on film too, so I got proof. But I never got five seconds exactly. Or the other way that you can do it aside from tapping it is you can just shake it. So I'm going to start it up. One, two, three, four. All right, not as good. 4.64. So yeah, that's a pretty fun application. It is free from the App Store. Next one, it's called Graphing Calculator, and it's just what it says it is. If you guys are in school, I definitely recommend still downloading it. It's pretty, uh, it's not really fun. It's not a game at all, but it is a graphing calculator. So, say if I want to graph a line, we'll do 5x uh, plus 3. Oh, my bad. 5x plus 3, and you push done, and then you can just, so here we have 1, or y1 equals 5x plus 3, you just go on to the right here where it says graph, click it, and it'll have a graph, and you can zoom in, or you can zoom out, and all that stuff, anyway, so yeah, you can zoom in, zoom out, it's pretty cool, it's a free download from the App Store, so might want to try it out, uh, next one's called Mancala, 
this is an older game. I don't I don't think it's called a board game, but it is an older game that I've played before. You can do human versus iPod or human versus human if you want to do two player. We're gonna do human versus iPod. Now I don't know how to play this game and there is no instructions on it. Um so if you really want to learn, you could always just go on to I guess he's going first. Maybe. Yeah, so somehow you sh like move, shift these marbles over. Um, I don't know the purpose of the game right now. It's pretty much just a bunch of flashing colors to me. But if you do know how to play it, it is a free download from the App Store, and you might enjoy it. Anyway, next one. This one's called Astro Tilt. I like it a lot. It is a free download, once again, from the App Store. And uh, you get 99 levels of... If you guys have ever played this game, it's pretty much like... I think it's called Ball Breaker, maybe? Or like block breaker or something like that, like maybe like blocks and all you have to do is just use the accelerometer to tilt and you hit this ball with the paddle, oh I died you hit the ball with the paddle and you attempt to break the blocks at the top of the screen and although it looks really easy I am on the first level and there are 99 of them and it does get pretty tough but there's also some fun stuff in here like I don't know you can get bigger paddles uh, more targets, the ball could go through stuff, it's like little like bonuses that you can get if you break a certain block and it just keeps the gameplay fun and keeps it moving so that's a free download called Astro Tilt. The next one I'm going to be showing you is called For Free, and this is also a free download, obviously. And you can do computer versus computer. I don't know why they would do that, but I guess it's so you could watch it. You can do one player versus computer, or you can do two players. So we're in the one player. Rip. Okay, start game. If you ever play the game called Connect 4, this is what it is. Just tap the row you want to drop it in, and you're going to play Connect 4, but it's called For Free. But anyway, uh, this game's pretty fun. I would definitely download it. The only problem is, is that, I mean, it's ridiculously tough. It's either, if you're not playing on easy, you pretty much have zero chance to actually win. So, okay. Anyway, I've just shown you gameplay there, so I just lost. That is, once again, called For Free. Next one, called Scribble. This is a, uh, I don't know, how am I doing on time? Oh, perfect. Alright, anyway, uh, next one, called Scribble. This is a lot like I Doodle 2 Lite. And uh, the only difference is that you can upload a photo from your iPod. And so we'll just use this photo. And if you want to, you can actually just draw on it. So I got a bunch of different colors, got different tools and everything like that. So yeah, it's kind of fun. Uh, let's see what we got. We can do different sizes. So yeah, you could just have a complete blast with this. You want to draw horns on like a picture of yourself or I don't know, whatever you want to do. And you can save it to your iPod if you want to. But anyway, we're going to get out of that. Final one that I'm going to be showing you is called Knots. This is once again a free download from the App Store. Uh, it's a lot like the game called Twister, if you remember that. It's that old uh, mat that you get a bunch of people to play at and or play with, and you get like different body parts to touch a different colored circle with. But anyway, this one's with your fingers. You can do one player, which is what I'm going to show you, or you could do two players. So you'll have two different colored dots at the same time. I'll show you on hard how to play it. So what you do? Hold on one second. I need both my hands to play this, so I'm going to wedge this up with my cell phone. Okay. So, what you do first is that you have to touch and hold that dot. So, it hasn't disappeared yet. So, see those uh, blue rings that just appeared around it? That means that it just shrank and disappeared. So, now I have a new one that just appeared. So, I mean, it looks like it's just completely fun right now, and it is, it's a really fun game, but when you eventually start to get five and six dots on the com on the screen, it gets to be really frustrating, really annoying, especially when you're playing two players, because then you have, we'll just show it on easy, but if you're doing two player, you have two different dots going at the same time, and it's just, it's confusing as crap, and you have to cross fingers, and it's, I don't know, it's fun, it's a free download, I'd recommend downloading it, it's something different, not many other apps out there like it, if there are any. Anyway, that is my last application I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. Uh, I think. Right, 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 right. Alright, cool. That was my last app. Uh, have a good day, guys.